Welcome to this demonstration of using IBM Transformation Extender 9 to build a custom 64-bit DLL to implement a function. I'm using a Windows Server 2008 machine here upon which I've installed the IBM Transformation Extender 9 Design Studio. I've also installed Visual Studio C++ 2010 Express and finally the Microsoft Windows SDK for Windows 7 7.1. Those are the only three pieces of software you should need for this demonstration. You will note in the function libs subdirectory of my transformation extender directory there are the standard three DLL files that come with the product. At the end of this process we hope to have a fourth DLL I'm going to fire up the Design Studio. And you will note that I have already created a project called Project 1. I have a map source file example.mms which is open, which is pre populated on the output card with a static output rule uh, equals ABC and also on the screen you can see the output file which shows the ABC after the map has been built and run. Okay, from the functions list you will see at the bottom where the custom functions are held there are only the standard three libraries that are given with the product mathlib, resourcelib, xmllib. From the rules menu if we choose new function and start to fill out the various fields of the wizard. The first field is path and I recommend that you point this to the function libs subdirectory on your computer. It will mean that uh, there will be no need to move files around later when it comes to compile time. I'm going to give my DLL a name, I'm going to call it toolkit and as you'll see there's nothing in the functions list at the moment so I'm going to add a function going to call my first function hello world. It's going to return some text and I'm going to set it up so that it's expecting some text to be coming into the function. I'll complete the function description just so that there's something in that field and click the OK button. Now that I have a minimum of one function I can click on the generate button and it will generate the skeleton code for me. We're finished in the Design Studio for now, so I'm going to close that down for a bit. You will see in the Function Libs subdirectory, a new subdirectory has appeared called Toolkit. And if we open that, there is a bunch of files, one of which is a .c file called Toolkit. <clears throat> okay, I need to show that this actually does have a C extension. Right, OK, yeah, hide extensions, uh, take that tick out. OK, so as you can see, the file does have a .c extension. It is a C source file. If I double click that file to open it now, it will open up in the Visual Studio Editor. I'm going to drag that to the left side of the screen so that we can see what's going on behind. OK, this is a bunch of C code. The purpose of this demo is not to teach you how to program in C. I am going to insert um, a custom snippet that will replace these two lines of code with some uh, code that I've pre-prepared which will do uh, the hello world that I want. So the first thing to do is to comment out these two lines of code and we will paste in... Oops we will paste in um, the new code that I have. It's uh, a, a little similar to the standard but there's some additions to actually make the code do something. Okay we'll save this file and close the editor. Next step is to um, fire up the uh, command prompt that will be used to build that file. 
So I'm going to be using the Windows SDK 7.1 command prompt utility here. You will note that the text is in yellow, um, just to indicate that you are building for a different bitness. Um, and it does actually tell you there that it's building for Windows 7 64-bit. So I'm going to change to the directory where my code has been created. Uh, that's IBM Transformation Extender and Function Libs. And within there, the toolkit subdirectory. And here you can see I have my files. We have a win64.mac file, which I'm going to copy um, to the standard make file that the compiler is expecting. And once that's done, I can run the standard nmake utility. And if you have a look, uh, we'll, we'll drag the um, file list window over a little bit so we can see a little bit more what goes on. Um, if you have a look, as I hit enter on the nmake utility, you'll note a bunch of new files get created, including the toolkit.dll that I was expecting. Now I'm going to cut it out of this location, go into the parent directory, and paste it into function libs. And this is where it needs to be to be picked up by Design Studio and or Runtime. I'm going to fire up my Design Studio again. <coughs> Okay, my map is still open. If we scroll to the bottom of the function list, you'll note a fourth entry has appeared, toolkit. And if I expand that entry, you'll note the hello world function that I've created. I can now drag and drop this onto my string literal. And it's uh, changed the format of the rule. And I'm going to save, build and run. The map completed successfully. If I close that and show you on the output, you will note that it now says hello world. So we can see that the function has been called correctly. Thank you for watching my demonstration.